Hello, good morning, my dear friends. Let's start the today's the new chapters. I mean, chapter that uh, which also we already discussed some uh, subtitles. We are we are going to today discuss the disinvestment and privatization. These two things and this this is the concept. Okay, so don't waste the time. Uh, I personally feel we do not have much time. <coughs> okay, so we are going to here discuss the what is the disinvestment and what is the privatization. most important concept so let's start so both the disinvestment as well privatization is the reverse of investment for the setting up the public sector and public uh, setting up the public sector the government had to invest by the subscribing in share of new public sector for the budgetary resources thus this this investment and the privatization both imply the selling of the shares of the public sector by the government we all know that the share are traded at the stock market and the traded is the value of each share is decided by the buyers and sellers in the market if the buyer of the buyer of the share the particular company the more than the seller of the same the trade value of the shares would would be at a premium or otherwise it would be the a discount thus it's both of the case this investment as well as the privatization the selling of the shares of the public sectors would be the premium distinction between the both ownership of the company would be need to be the understood who is the owner of the company he or she is the person who holds the majority of the shares that is the 50% technically ownership is with a person holding a minimum 51% of the share or even the person enjoying support of the 51% of the shareholder this can be explained as the if you are the holding the 10% of the shares of the company and you are able to convince the 41% of the shareholder to support then you will become the owner of the company hence the disinvestment is a define a selling of the share of public sector at the premium to public sector by the government without the losing the ownership of the public sector the objective here is a raising a resources for the government the shares are sold in the public sector at as the preferred the first option of the making them the partners in public sector okay so why need the 1990 uh, sorry a uh, Uh, why need the policy of the 1991 forward the privatization the policy took the mature decision in seek the privatization in public sectors so there is a so many reasons we are going to see the what is the reasons we all uh, we are already discussed the disinvestment so now we discuss the privatization the first thing is the public sectors as the mentioned the earlier had the broadly the deliver in terms of the creating the significance the capacity in the key area such as the self reliance and the subsisting for the imports of the industrial goods the created in the platform for the further industrializations and industrial growth there is a requirement of the now moving into the higher gear and look at the issue of, such as the development of the greater capability and improving the productivity and efficiency sharp the focus on the profitability second is the policy of the liberalization has the openness to gates for the liberal the private sector investment in key area the competition would be only the intensify this required the public sectors to now the run as a pure business as the commercial ventures which is the possible solely in the private sector as a public sector there will always be the limitation for of the not being the operate at the pure business in the same way as they are the counterparts in the private sector 
third is the role of the government as the producer of the industrial sector is always with the interims the shorter times is the never the permanent it can be the, a permanent producer only of those where the direct welfare of the people is affected like a railway or in a national interest like the autonomy uh, atomic energy fourth is it is also be about the mindest of the government of the maturity of the private sector and their ability to the deliver the requirement of the better than the government i hope you are getting the got the all these things which we told here uh, there is a uh, something also i will tell that also as the government it has a longer responsibility of the providing the good and sufficient governance the creating the enable the environment addressing the welfare of the masses which are which are far more important than the running public sector especially when the today's there is a maturity maturity and the competition in the private sector why the private a profit making the public sector the private privatization is not about the profit making but for a longer reason of the whether it will be the continue to remain the profitable in future with intense the fires of the competition thus the privatization is not a today uh, for uh, for today but uh, for brighter the future of the public sector in a private environment equipments better to meet the challenges okay the keeping the above the facts in view of the government went for the sum of big ticket the privatization like to the balco tata ipc reliance industries the modern foods uni lever maruti even around the one of the private was a performs the midest lot of uh, lot of the controversy ranging from the need to issue of the valuation why the position of the privatization uh, sorry uh, why the opposition we have to also know the what is the reason uh, now we are going to see the some of the opposition so first thing is it was the feared that is the government owned the monopoly would would be the replaced by the private sector monopoly and could be result in the exploitation of the private sector the government has to be clarify that is the no public sector the operating as the monopoly would be the private privatized only these which are be the operating in the competitive the environment would be the privatized until they are able to the operate in the competitive environment there would only be the disinvestment of the such a public sector it is also be the fear that the privatization would be result in a large number of the worker and the laid off the or would be lost their job is of the thereby the addings to be the pool the unemployment and need to be the understand the public sector being the specialized the natures and workers by the virtue of the experience have a requirement of the skill set and which no owner they would like to be the loss the rather than the trench they would be the redevelop it is also be the widely be that is the proceed the receiving from the disinvestment privatization would be the use it to beat the budget deficit and not use it for the benefits of the masses or used to the create the social assets in economics i hope you understand the most important concept is the role of the public sector in future so 1990 has given to rise in the certain of the wrongs perceptions about the public sector the mentioned earlier the clipping about the clipping of their wings or diluting the status of the public sector it need to be the clarify the first that is that it is not the clipping of the wing but only a larger role for the public sector uh, private sector not a public sector either it is the status being the diluted given to the huge investments as it based on the public sectors in a country the policy should not be seen as the undermining of the importance of the public sector but the role of the public sector would be the undergoes to changing the mention below first one is the first one <coughs> sorry 
from a welfare of the orientation they would be the shift to the focus as a commercial venture with a profit as the objective to the extent of the feasible as the public sector from the production of the orientation they would be the became the productivity oriented they will operate with a greater professionalism as we, uh, and well run public sector would operate with a greater option of operational operational the function is the autonomy and to extend the feasible feasible and many more the public sector would be the required the status of the many ratna ratna and maharatna yield them to the greater degree the freedom for the taking the investment decision by the respective the board of the public sector and not a requirement of the government approval so there would be the consolidated and uh, like would the merger of the among us the public sector such as uh, oil companies and nationalization the banks to the able to them to achieve the greater economy of the scale of the helping to them the compete the with a uh, global companies the many public sectors may option for the forces acquisition paving out with uh, uh, with uh, sorry paving the way for the public sectors the becoming a, a global player there is a likelihood the public sector the getting into the joint ventures the, with a private and the greater joint the participate is in a key area the chief executive officer of the public sector would be the console uh, consider for the appointment the based and the merit of the competition the both within as well as the outside of the government okay so this is the all about our public sector role in future now i will tell you one of things uh, one more important things however the biggest of the challenge before the profitable the public sector would be there the ability to the competitive competitive the productive and if we sent the remain the profitable in future this one thing last so now we are moving to national manufacturing policy 2011 this is the most important policy don't worry i will tell you so in order to be create the paradigm paradigm the shifting of the manufacturing sectors in the initially to the consider the objective over the longer frame time uh, time frames such as the 15 years national manufacturing policy which was the introduction 2011 uh, the some of the objective there i will tell you first is the increasing the manufacturer sectors the growth the 12 to 40% over the medium terms in making its engine of the growth of for economies two to four the different year over the medium terms of the growth rates overall the economy will be enable to the manufacture the contribution at least 25% of the national gdp 2025 increasing the rate of the jobs creation and manufacturing to create the 100 million additional jobs by 2025 emphasize would be the given to the creation appropriate skill set up the among the rural migration and the urban poor and making to be the growth inclusively increasing the in depth and the manufacturing with a focus level of the domestic value addition and address the national strategic requirement fourth is the enhancing the global competitiveness of the of the indian manufacturing through be the appropriate the policy support fifth is the ensure the sustainability of the growth and the particularly with uh, regarding the environment so this is these are the all the objective uh the policy is based on the principle the in industrial growth and partnership with a uh, state the central gov- central governments will be create the enabling the policy frameworks the providing the incentive for the manufacturing development on the pp public sector based on the through be appropriate financing instruments while the state government will the identify the suitable lands and the equi- to be the equity of the holders in in the national investment manufacturing zone the followings are the key policy instruments for the achieving the objective so first one is the establish the ina means national investment manufacturing zone 
the greenfield integrated of the industry township that the state and the art infrastructure and land using base of the zone the clean energy efficient technology and the requirement of the social infrastructure the national investment manufacturing zones was the proposed with at least the area of the 5000 hectare industrial township proposed to be the self governing autonomous bodies under the article 243 qc constitution the strengthening of the infrastructure will be the finance the appropriately by the central government through the availability gap point uh, foundings while the sp v will be the develop the zone of manufacturing in ppp model <coughs> sorry for this disturbance so nimg will be the managed by the special purpose vehicle the headed by the government official and the expert including the those uh, environments the aspect of the national manufacturing policy first the focus sector so focus the employment intensive the industry like to textile garments leather footwear gems jewelry foods processing industry second is the capital goods industries third is the industry with a strategic financing means a uh, significant strategic means aerospace shipping technology hardware these etc etc uh, industry where the india is the enjoy the competitive the uh, advantages such as the automobiles pharmaceutical and medical equipment we are i heard small medium enterprises public sector enterprises this the focus sectors second is the national investment manufacturing zone the national investment manufacturing is we already discussed it so i do not think we also need to discuss here okay so third our simplification of the regulation in environments so timelines will be the defense or for all clearance the central and state government to the providing the exemptions for the rule of regulations rela uh, related to the labor environment etc subject to the fulfillment of the creation of the condition the machinism for be the co the corporation of the public and the private institution with a government of the inspections and the service under to be the overall the control of the statutory the authority to be the developed the process of the clearance by the center and the state authority to be the progressively the web web enabled to combine the application of the common registration to be the development the submission of the multiple written for the different department will be the replaced by the on the simplify the monthly the quarterly written the single window clearance for the unit in national investment manufacturing zone acquisition of the technology and development Uh, the policy of the intended of the leverage the existence of the incentive the scheme for the governments and also introduction of the new machinism to the introduction of the green technology okay uh, technology acquisition development fund has to be the proposed for the acquisition and the appropriate of the technology creation of the patent the pools and the developments and the domestic of the manufacturing equipment for uh, sorry need uh, use for the controlling the pollutants reducing the energy consumption okay and third one the fund will be also the functions and the autonomous and the patents pooling of the license agency it will be the purchasing intellectual property and rights from the patents holders the, any companies that want to the use the intellectual property to the produce or development products can be seek the license from the pooling the again the payment of the royalties okay then we are going to discuss here the incentive under the national manufacturing policy so government also provide the some of the incentive so we have to discuss the which incentive government provided and also going to provide it so transfer the asset means in case of the suit the declare the sick the transfer of the asset will be the facilitated by the company the managing the affairs of the national investment manufacturing zone the reliance so, uh, sorry uh, the relief for the capital gain tax 
cell of the plants and machinery of the unit of the located in the NIMG Z. It will be the granted in case of the reinvestment of the scale consider within the period of the three years for the purchasing of the new plants or machinery in any order to the unit the located in same or another NIMJ MZ green technology practice the 5% of the reimbursement and 10% of the subsidy for the production of the equipments and machine and device for controlling pollution reducing the energy consumption and water conservation the grant of the 25% of the M S uh, sorry SME for the expenditure incurring the audits subject to the maximum of the US dollar the 15,000 uh, sorry about 1518 point 46 the 10 percent of the time to the capital subsidy for the unit of the practicing the zero water discharging uh, rebut the water says of says for the seating of the water wastewater recycling facility incentive for the renewables energy under the existing scheme the incentive of the US dollar 3076.92 for the all buildings of the which the obtaining the green ratings under to be the Indian Green Building Council the leadership of the energy environment designed to green rating of the integrated habitat as it to be the investment Technology development, incentive for the production for the equipment machine and device for the controlling the pollution, reducing the energy, the consumption and water conservation. We already discussed it. The SME is the will be to access to the patents, the pooling to pooling and the parts of the reimbursement, the technology acquisitions, the cost of the maximum of the US dollar, the 30,700 and for the purpose of the acquisition, acquiring the appropriate of the technology for the maximum of the five years. Special benefit of the SME roll over the release for the longer time, longer terms, the capital gain tax to the individual on the scale, the residence or the property in case of the re reinvestment of the scale of the consideration. The tax passed through the status of the venture, the capital funds with a focus of the focus on SME in a manufacturing sector, liberalization of the RBI norms for the bank investments in the venture capital funds with a focus on the focus on SME, the consolidation, the consultation with RBI, liberalization of the RID, the guideline for the providing the investment for the insurance company, the government procurement, the policy will be also be considered use of the public procurement, it the stipulate the stipulations of the local value addition in a specific the specified the sector this include the area of the critical the technology such as the solar energy equipments and electronic hardware fuels efficient support and equipments IG base of the security systems powers roads highway railway aviation and ports these are industrial training skill upgradation measurement the skill buildings are the among the larger numbers of the minimums of the educated workers workforce revels of the occasionally and the skill training through be the established the industry the training institution public private partnership PPT modes special skill development through be the established the politics uh, sorry <laughs> polytechnic polytechnics established the instructor instructor training centers in, in the so each national investment manufacturing zone okay thank you friends subscribe like and share uh